What's going on guys, it's RSP here today, and today I'm bringing a different kind of video today. Um, the video is, as you can tell by the title, my opinions on the Alton Sterling shooting and happening with the Dallas, or not the Dallas cops, but the cops. What happened? I'm going to tell you what I personally think what happened and what we know, my personal final thoughts on what, like, people jump to conclusions. My thoughts on it, basically what we know is police were called on a Baton Rouge convenience store on a man with a gun. Police approached Alton Sterling because he matched the description given by the caller. There was a conversation that led to some sort of altercation. We don't know what that conversation was, what was said within that conversation. We have no idea what was said. A random person in a car pulled out a cell phone in a car, random person in a car, pulled out a cell phone video, pretty crappy cell phone video, as the cop was using the Taylor on Sterling. You can hear the taser crackle for a second time. The taser doesn't subdue Sterling, and he's not complying with off officers from the video. He's tackled by an officer, and... He, the officer struggling, trying to pin Sterling to the ground. We hear one of them yell, he's got a gun. And we can't see Sterling's right arm, but the officer's still fighting to subdue him. Then we hear the gunshots. That's what we know. I don't understand what people can't understand about that. We don't know the background. But it's under investigation by the Justice Department. Is by the Justice Department. Not the public opinion. It's not cell, crappy cell phone video to decide. It's But the Justice Department has to decide. The Alton Sterling did not get shot for selling CDs. That's crap. And to put forth that narrative, this not of us, just as hands up, no shoot is. You can be mad. You can be mad as you want to. But don't create a back crap story. What we know about Sterling, Sterling was a registered sex offender, a, a f you know, fucking offender. He was, he's been arrested for aggravated battery, criminal damage to property, unauthorized entry, domestic abuse, battery. In 2009, he was sentenced five years in, in prison for marijuana possession and was in, um, with an illegal weapon with a controlled substance dangerous substance family members said he was on probation when he died and would have not been allowed to carry a gun that's what we know when it what k kills me though about what happens when a man shoots up a military recruiting center in Chattanooga we can't seem to find a motive when a terror shoots up an Orlando nightclub in the name of radical Islam. Radical Islam. In the name of Radical Islam. All in Allah and ISIS. We can't seem to find a motive. We have to, we can't wait for the facts. We have to blame the gun because that's the facts. Everyone wants to blame the gun. No one wants to blame the person because we can't seem to find a motive when he screams in the name of Allah while shooting at a military recruiting center. We but yet when an officer uses deadly force after an outside of a store after an altercation on the ev on, and the only evidence we have is crappy cell phone footage, suddenly we know the motive is white racism. No, that's not no, that's not how life works. We can't see Sterling's right hand. We can't tell if he was reaching for a gun in his pocket, which is completely possible. Maybe these officers messed up. Maybe they did. Yes, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's it's crazy. If you grieve the loss of this man, then do it based on what you know, not what you hear or what you come up with. That's just my thoughts. And here we have freaking pictures that show frame by frame of what happened. Right arm is free. You see that? Wow, that is pretty magical. The head is, Alton Sterling's head is elevated. 
Officer off balance pushing with his left knee. His Alton Sterling's left knee is pushing an officer. Still resisting, other, other officer begins to draw. Sterling's right arm reaches for a pocket. Officer draws, still resist. Sterling still resisting. Again, note, officer's head on the hood. Sterling is sitting up. Shots are fired. No injured officer's blood on the front bumper of the car. Second shot fired. Note position of officer's head and subject posture. Notice where he, they're at. Then, this is after shots fired and the cops were off. Injured officer's blood on bumper from the struggle. What you think you know is what not really happened. See, we live in a day and age where everybody loves to jump to conclusions, where everybody loves to do this, everybody loves to do that, where we can't seem to find a common ground and all of a sudden when a white man screws up, it's racist. Yet black cops and cops in general have killed more white people this year than they have black people. Yet it's considered racist when a white cop shoots a black kid or a black man. Yet a black cop shoots a white kid and it's not heard of. It's crap. Those are my final thoughts. Have a powwow in the fucking comments for all I care. I just want to see what everyone's ignorant thoughts are. Those are mine. Those are my thoughts. That's what happened, and that's what we know from this cell phone footage. That's all we will ever know. Okay? Okay. All right. Cool. Anyways, guys, this is Other Aspie, and see you guys later.